Hello children I am Kamna today's topic of our presentation is computer generations here is the picture of human generations three generations in a family are shown here generation in computer terminology means a change in technology that is advancement in the use of computer technology and keeping this in mind computer generations are categorized into five generations let's learn about these generations of computers you can see in the above picture that with each new generation the computers have become smaller faster and more advanced than the previous generation computers first generation computers first generation computers started in 1946 these computers make use of vacuum tubes as a switch or amplifier the computers were as big as of a room size the first generation computers make use of machine language which is the language of zeros and ones and it is a low level language that is machine dependent it means programmer has to do machine specific coding which is really a tedious job and here i have used term vacuum tubes that may be new for you but in the last slide you will find definitions of the new terms which we will be using in this presentation first generation computers were too big and operating speed was very slow they were very expensive the examples of first generation computers are eniac and univac you can see the picture here so there were drawbacks in the first generation computers that they produce lot of heat and were not reliable here is a quiz regarding first generation of computers first generation computers make use of vacuum tubes examples of first generation computers are eniac and univac first generation computers make use of machine language that is the language of zeros and ones that is a machine dependent language first generation computers were too big in size now the second generation computers in the late 1950s the second generation computers were introduced second generation computers make use of transistors in place of vacuum tubes a transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power the second generation computers make use of assembly language assembly language is again a low level language like machine language but it includes symbols as well that's why it is called symbolic language also they were smaller faster cheaper and more reliable than the first generation of computers but again have their own limitations that they produce again a lot of heat and speed was still slow and the memory was less now a quiz second generation computers make use of transistors in place of vacuum tubes and more reliable than the first generation of computers make use of assembly language instead of machine language and examples of second generation of computers are IBM 140 mark 3 etc now the third generation of computers in the mid of 1960s the development of ICs integrated circuits was a major breakthrough resulting in the introduction of the third generation computers the transistors were replaced by the integrated circuits and ic is an amplifier that can hold millions of transistors ic is also known as semiconductor chips which made the computer powerful and increased the speed and efficiency these computers could carry billions of instructions in a few seconds and the size was smaller than the first two generations of computers and they were more reliable 
and you can see one point here they use high level languages like cobol and fortran now a high level language it is a programming language which enables a programmer to write programs independent of a particular type of computer such languages are considered high level languages because they are closer to human one of the beginners programming language that is logo which you have used in your previous previous class and with a specific set of codes or commands you were able to draw simple figures now a quiz third generation computers make use of integrated circuits integrated circuits are known as semiconductor chips and examples of third generation of computers are ibm 360 and cdc etc now coming to fourth generation of computers fourth generation of computers make use of microprocessor a microprocessor controls all the functions of cpu central processing unit that is it acts as an artificial brain the entire function of cpu is controlled by a single integrated circuit that is a ic these computers became more powerful and they could be linked together to form network which led to the development of internet the programming languages high level programming languages c c++ java etc were being used in the beginning and nowadays python c hash visual basic etc are more in use the features of fourth generation computers are they use microprocessors they are multi purpose computers more accurate and reliable and operating speed is very fast in 1981 IBM introduced the first personal computer for home users. Now a quiz. Fourth generation computers make use of microprocessor. These computers could fit on small desk or even on palm of hand. Fourth generation computers became more powerful and they could be linked together to form a network. the examples of fourth generation of computers are ibm 370 macintosh etc now coming to fifth generation of computers fifth generation of computers are based on artificial intelligence ai artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions You know Manav India's first humanoid robot was developed by a set training and research institute in December 2014 A robot is an example of fifth generation of computers it is a machine programmed a robot is a machine programmed by a computer to help humans in everything from daily routines to very dangerous tasks you must be aware of the use of zafi robot in chennai hospital to deliver food and medicines to corona virus infected patients more user friendly interfaces with multimedia features are popping up on regular basis voice and face recognition in your laptop and smartphone or through various apps is an example of artificial intelligence world health organization and indian health ministry is using artificial intelligence based chat boxes thermal cameras to fight against epidemic corona virus we are on the way to make artificial intelligence a reality the goal of fifth generation of computers is to develop devices that are capable of learning and self organization it's a quiz time fifth generation computers make use of artificial intelligence example is robot and we are in the fifth generation of computers and looking forward for more advanced and self organized techniques these are the 
pages containing definitions of the new terms which we have used here in the presentation you can pause on the slides containing definitions Now you can have computer generations at a glance. I hope this diagram will make a clear picture in your mind about the generations of computers. Thanks a lot. See you soon.